So one of the things that is real beneficial to take with you on a seaside team or anyone that's going to do some commercial uh, doors is taking that six foot steel hook. It's important that it's steel and uh, it's a great little extended leverage to use on your Halligan bar. There's a lot of different setups that you can get really close to failing with the Halligan, but not quite there. And then you put this bar on there and it changes the game completely. So this is one door in particular. This is a real industrial door. It's got the big factory hinges on it. Um, it's C-channel, it's solid edges, it's, it's very stout. You don't get any crush. On the back side of this, we have a real good uh, quarter inch steel mount with a thick three inch by half inch steel bar. Um, so something that's just fairly formidable to what we could go up against. So we'll go in with the Halligan first. Hit! 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 Stop! Get the uh, bar. So you can see with even one guy, even with two of us on here, we're not even, not even getting flex out on that Halligan bar. So we take this, we add it in, the important part when you're doing this is to make sure that this part is grabbing in the forks and the other side of it is actually going up and wrapping around the pike of the Halligan. That's real important when you go to do this. And this has got to be very coordinated together. One guy is right there on the Halligan, holding it together. One guy's out here and becomes that extended leverage. Ready? Awesome. One for the Commandant. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Get that in the background. Oh,
obviously looking at this door compared to the other ones, it doesn't have any bolt patterns on the outside of it. And that's because the drop bar mounts are welded on all four sides of the mounts on the interior here, which you can see. Um, with that said, we don't have those other options that we normally would like driving bolts through the door or cutting the bolts with a saw and releasing them from the system. So it becomes real important that we're capturing our progress um, and that we're getting the leverage right where we want it because we don't have those options to fall back on. Uh, when, when you look at this type of setup, the six foot hook is a real advantage when you need that extra leverage now because we're trying to bend and fail the mounts or fail the bar. When you look at this bar in general, look at how it's mounted behind the frame of this actual setup. That gives it a long bite on both sides of the door, like three or four inches. And that's something that you see very regularly, but at the same time, there are doors where it's mounted only behind the stop. And when you look at this comparison picture here, you can see the one on the left is like the door we're forcing. It's got big bite behind the frame, but then the one on the right is just mounted behind the stop. And if you can picture us prying on that, now look when we go back to this, the amount of flex you get into that bar Ready? would have defeated that Two, with three. that normal type stop. Okay, hold up. Uh, go the hook. I got it with Thank you. 